Welcome to Holistic Wellness 24-7. In today's video, Facing Death, Conquer Fear for Growth, we will explore the powerful stoic concept of memento mori, remember you will die, and how embracing mortality can help conquer fear for personal growth. Using insights from Marcus Aurelius and other Stoic philosophers, we'll show you how facing death brings clarity, courage, and a deeper appreciation for life. So whether you're looking to cleanse, revitalize, or elevate your overall wellness, you're in the right place. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear, simple roadmap to improve your well-being, step by step. Here at Holistic Wellness 24-7, we focus on the how-to of not just extending your lifespan, but also expanding your health span. So let's get started on your journey to better physical and mental health. Time waits for no one. It is an unstoppable force moving forward with a rhythm that is both predictable and mysterious. It marches forward relentless and unyielding, indifferent to our desires and plans. The world around us changes in the blink of an eye and we are swept along in its current. Each second that passes is gone forever, a grain of sand slipping through our fingers. These moments, once lost, can never be reclaimed and they accumulate to form the tapestry of our lives. We are finite beings in an infinite universe. Our existence is but a brief flicker in the grand scheme of things, a tiny speck in the vast expanse of time and space. Our time here is precious, a gift to be cherished. The moments we share with loved ones, the laughter, the tears, the experiences that shape us, these are the true treasures of life. Yet we often live as if we have an eternity at our disposal. We waste hours on trivial pursuits, distracted by the noise of modern life, forgetting the value of each passing moment. We chase fleeting pleasures and postpone our dreams, thinking there will always be more time. But time is a finite resource, and every delay is a missed opportunity. We allow fear to paralyze us, keeping us from truly living. The fear of failure, the fear of the unknown, the fear of judgment. These fears hold us back from reaching our full potential. But what if there was a way to break free from this fear-driven existence? What if we could find the courage to face our fears head on and live a life of purpose and fulfillment? What if we could confront our mortality and emerge stronger, more alive than ever before? By acknowledging the inevitability of death, we can find a renewed sense of urgency and clarity in our lives. The ancient philosophy of Stoicism offers a path. It teaches us to focus on what we can control and to accept what we cannot, to live in harmony with the natural order of the world. It teaches us to embrace the reality of death, not with dread, but with a sense of clarity and purpose. By understanding that our time is limited, we can prioritize what truly matters and let go of what does not. By meditating on our own mortality, we can unlock a profound appreciation for life and the precious time we have been given. Each day becomes an opportunity to live fully, to love deeply and to make a meaningful impact on the world around us. In the end, it is not the length of our days that matters, but the depth of our experiences. Let us cherish each moment, for the fleeting sands of time wait for no one. Death. It's a word that makes many uncomfortable. We shy away from it, avoid talking about it. Yet, it is the one certainty we all share. From the moment we're born, we're on a journey that inevitably leads to our demise. This realization can be daunting, even terrifying. It forces us to confront our own vulnerability, our own impermanence. Our instinct is to suppress this fear, to distract ourselves with the busyness of life. But the Stoics argue that this avoidance is counterproductive. By ignoring death, we fail to truly live. We become entangled in trivial matters, losing sight of what truly holds value. The key, they believe, lies in confronting our mortality head on. The Stoics, particularly Marcus Aurelius and Seneca, believed that contemplating death was not a morbid exercise, but a path to liberation. They saw it as a way to free oneself from the trivialities and distractions of daily life, allowing for a more focused and meaningful existence. Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor and philosopher, famously wrote in his meditations, you could leave life right now. This powerful statement was meant to serve as a constant reminder of the impermanence of life and the importance of living in the present moment. Let that determine what you do and say and think. By keeping the inevitability of death in mind, Marcus Aurelius believed that we could make better choices, speak more truthfully and think more deeply. 
It was a call to authenticity and integrity in every aspect of life. This wasn't a call to despair, but a reminder to live each day as if it were our last. It was about embracing the present and making the most of the time we have rather than being paralyzed by fear or regret. Seneca, another prominent Stoic, echoed this sentiment. He believed that by regularly contemplating our mortality, we could strip away the superficial layers of our lives and focus on what truly matters. He argued that by reflecting on death, we gain a clearer perspective on life. This practice helps us prioritize our goals and values, ensuring that we spend our time on what is genuinely important. It is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it, he wrote. Seneca's words challenge us to examine how we use our time and to eliminate activities that do not contribute to our well-being or personal growth. The Stoics believed that our fear of death stems from a misunderstanding of its nature. They taught that death is a natural part of the human experience, not something to be feared, but to be understood and accepted. Death is not the opposite of life, but a part of it. By accepting this, we can live more fully and with greater peace of mind. The wisdom of the Stoics encourages us to embrace the present, live with purpose, and find tranquility in the face of life's inevitable end. The Stoic approach to death is not about dwelling on the macabre. Instead, it invites us to embrace the reality of our mortality with a sense of purpose and clarity. It's about harnessing the awareness of our mortality as a catalyst for living a more meaningful life. By acknowledging that our time is limited, we can prioritize what truly matters and let go of what doesn't. It's about recognizing that our time is finite and using that knowledge to fuel our actions, our passions and our relationships. This awareness can transform the way we approach each day, making us more intentional and present in our interactions. This philosophy encourages us to ask ourselves difficult but essential questions, questions that can guide our decisions and shape our lives. What do we truly value? What are the things that, that bring us joy and fulfillment? By identifying these core values, we can align our actions with our deepest desires. How do we want to be remembered? What legacy do we wish to leave behind? These reflections can inspire us to live in a way that is true to ourselves and impactful to others. By contemplating these questions, we can begin to shed the weight of triviality and focus on what truly matters. We can declutter our lives, both physically and mentally, to make space for what is truly important. The fear of death, when confronted head-on, can be a powerful motivator. It can drive us to take bold steps and make courageous choices that we might otherwise avoid. It can push us outside our comfort zones, encouraging us to take risks and pursue our dreams with a renewed sense of urgency. By facing our fears, we can unlock our potential and live a life that is rich with purpose and meaning. In the end, turning fear into fuel is about transforming our perspective. It's about seeing the inevitability of death not as a source of dread, but as a reminder to live fully and authentically. By doing so, we can create a life that is not only fulfilling for ourselves, but also leaves a lasting impact on those around us. Embrace the stoic approach and let the awareness of your mortality be the spark that ignites your passion for life. Let it be the force that drives you to make the most of every moment, to cherish your relationships and to pursue your dreams with unwavering determination. Living on the edge of time. Imagine for a moment that you knew exactly when your time would come to an end. How would that knowledge change the way you live today? Would you waste time on trivial pursuits or would you embrace each moment with a newfound appreciation? This is the essence of living with memento mori, the awareness of death at the forefront of our minds. It's not about becoming reckless or fatalistic, but about living with intentionality and purpose. It's about recognizing that every day is a gift an opportunity to create something meaningful, to connect with loved ones, and to make a positive impact on the world. The power of acceptance. A crucial aspect of overcoming the fear of death is acceptance. We must accept that death is a natural part of life, just as birth is. Resisting this reality only leads to more suffering. When we accept death, we free ourselves from the chains of fear. We can then focus our energy on living fully in the present moment, appreciating the beauty and wonder that surrounds us. This acceptance doesn't mean we become passive or indifferent to life. On the contrary, it allows us to embrace life with greater clarity and purpose. 
It allows us to savor each experience, knowing that it is precious and fleeting. Courage in the face of mortality. Throughout history, countless individuals have faced death with remarkable courage and grace. Their stories serve as powerful reminders that even in the face of our own mortality, we can find strength, resilience, and even joy. Consider the example of Viktor Frankl, a psychiatrist who endured the horrors of the Holocaust. In his seminal work, Man's Search for Meaning, Frankl wrote about how even in the darkest of times, those who found meaning in their suffering were able to persevere. He observed that those who had something to look forward to a purpose beyond themselves were more likely to survive. A life lived without regrets. The Stoic philosophy encourages us to live in such a way that we minimize future regrets. By embracing our mortality, we are more likely to pursue our passions, speak our truths and cherish our relationships. We are less likely to allow fear to dictate our choices and more likely to live a life true to ourselves. Imagine reaching the end of your life and looking back without any what-ifs or should-haves. This is the power of living with intentionality, of embracing each day as a precious gift. It's about living in such a way that when our time does come, we can greet it with a sense of peace, knowing that we lived fully and without reservation. Embracing the inevitable. The Stoics believed that by accepting death, we liberate ourselves to truly live. This philosophy is not about becoming morbid or obsessed with death, but about using the awareness of our mortality as a tool for personal growth and transformation. When we confront our fear of death, we open ourselves up to a deeper understanding of life's preciousness. We begin to appreciate the simple joys of existence, the warmth of the sun on our skin, the laughter of loved ones, the beauty of the natural world. We learn to savor each moment knowing that it is a gift. A call to action, seize the day. The time to live is now. Don't wait for a life-altering event to shake you awake. Embrace the reality of your mortality and let it fuel your passions, your relationships and your pursuit of a meaningful life. Start by asking yourself, what legacy do you want to leave behind? What impact do you want to make on the world? Once you have a clear vision of your purpose, take action. Don't allow fear to paralyze you. Remember, the only way to truly conquer the fear of death is to live a life so full of purpose and meaning that death itself becomes a mere footnote. The legacy we leave behind. Each of us has the power to leave a positive mark on the world. It doesn't have to be something grand or extraordinary. It can be as simple as showing kindness to a stranger, pursuing a passion or leaving things better than we found them. Our legacy is not defined by the length of our days but by the depth of our lives. It's about the connections we make, the love we share and the positive impact we have on others. By embracing our mortality, we can live with a greater sense of purpose, knowing that our time here is precious and that our actions have the power to make a difference. Conclusion. Death as a guiding star. Death, often perceived as an ending, can be a powerful beginning it can be the catalyst for a life lived with intentionality, purpose, and joy. By embracing the stoic philosophy of memento mori, we can transform our fear of death into a guiding star, leading us towards a life of fulfillment and meaning. Let us remember that our time here is precious, a gift to be cherished. Let us live each day to the fullest, embracing the beauty of the present moment and striving to leave the world a better place than we found it. If you found this video valuable, hit that like button and share it with others seeking to live more boldly and authentically. Don't forget to subscribe for more transformative content on stoicism, personal growth and seizing the day. Leave a comment below sharing how you plan to embrace memento mori and conquer your fears.